Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's from Matthew 4.4. 4. If you aren't familiar with those words, they come directly from the mouth of Jesus. They were his response to Satan's temptation in the wilderness to turn stones into bread. Considering he hadn't eaten in 40 days and was intensely hungry, it isn't easy to understand the answer. To get to the heart of it, we have to go back to the days of the Exodus and Israel's wilderness experience. As we saw yesterday, supplying Israel with water wasn't easy, so it shouldn't surprise us that supplying them with food wasn't either. In Exodus 15, the battle over trust began at the bitter waters. In chapter 16, it opened up again in the wilderness of sin over food. The complaining resurfaced in their overly dramatic whining. Would that we had died by the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt when we sat by the pots of meat, when we ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out in this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Exodus 16.3 And again, despite their despicable disrespect, God stepped in with a miraculous response. Manna from heaven. Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather their day's portion every day that I may test them whether or not they will walk in my instruction. Exodus sixteen four. God told them to gather it every morning, six days a week, with a double portion on Friday to get them through the Sabbath. Some listened, but some wouldn't, prompting God to ask, How long will you refuse to obey my laws? In verse 28. Later, Moses explained that this was a simple question of trust. God was asking them to trust him. He humbled you and let you be hungry and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. Jesus quoted this as his answer because he trusted God and was wholly committed to doing his will. Jesus fasted 40 days and Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. This was a symbolic connection to Israel's failed trust by the one who embodied trust. And just a few short years later in the garden, Jesus said three times, Not my will, but yours be done. Anyone who trusts God will strive to obey. Which wilderness example will you follow? Israel, who tried living on bread alone, or Jesus, who obeyed the will of God and lived again? Think carefully before you answer. And be careful to come back tomorrow for another Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until then, I'm James McClenney, hoping you have a great day.